Right, let's bring you more breaking news. Rugby Union, England preparing to face Japan next weekend before a two-test tour against New Zealand in July. Live on Sky Sports, Steve Borthwick has just announced his squad. James Cole has all the details for us. James, what are the headlines? Hi, Rob. It's a youthful-looking squad with a blend of experience as well. Six uncapped players in it. They are Hooker uh, from uh, Bristol, Gabriel Ogre, Finn Baxter, the Harlequins prop, uh, backs from Sale in Joe Carpenter and Tom Roebuck, Ollie Slightholm, the Saints winger, who's been outstanding this season, and North, uh, sorry, Harlequins centre Luke Northmore. Those are the six uncapped players. It's also a squad that has a lot of Northampton Saints backs in it, unsurprisingly. They've been so good this season, finishing top of the table, beating Bath here in the Premiership final on Saturday. And you wonder if Steve Borthwick's going to build his style of play around those Northampton backs. The six backs are wing Tommy Freeman, a fullback George Furbank, centre Fraser Dingwall, scrum half Alex Mitchell, and as I mentioned, the uncapped winger Ollie Slightholm. All have been brilliant for Northampton this, uh, this season. And the one man I didn't mention there, the most important one of all, is Finn Smith, their fly half. He has been absolutely brilliant. He's only 22 years old, but he's led Northampton to the Premiership this season, and now he may have an opportunity to make the England 10 shirt his own, because George Ford, the sale fly half, who would have been first choice at 10 for this summer tour, is not touring. He has an Achilles injury, so he's going to stay at home. So the battle for number 10 will come down to the two Smiths, Finn Smith and Marcus Smith, both young players, both really mercurial talents. And maybe the argument for Finn Smith is that he can control the game better. We'll see. But then you look at Marcus Smith and what he's done in an England shirt already. He's got 30-odd caps to his name, so he's got a bit more experience if you're coming up against the All Blacks, as England are in two tests. It doesn't get much tougher than that. And also, if you look at Marcus Smith and what he did during the Six Nations, he came on in that big big win over Ireland here last uh, what, March and played a really influential role as well. So a big decision for Steve Borthwick with no George Ford in this squad. Does he go with Finn Smith or Marcus Smith at 10? It will be a really interesting call. Remember England, they go out to Japan before they play New Zealand. So they head to Japan for that test against Eddie Jones's Japan, the former England coach. That's on June the 22nd. They fly there actually the day after tomorrow. That's going to be hot in Tokyo. Then they go to, to New Zealand where it's going to be winters. So they're going to have to transfer into the winter uh, surroundings first uh, in Dunedin on July the 6th and then in Auckland on July the 13th. So really, really tough schedule for Steve Borthwick and his guys. Uh, he's named his squad here. It's a really youthful squad with a big mix of experience. You've got the likes of Joe Marler and Dan Cole in there. And we'll be hearing from Steve Borthwick very, very shortly as to why he's gone for this pick and also where he's thinking in terms of his number 10 now. What, uh, what advantages might Finn Smith have over Marcus Smith and exactly what his thinking is. James, thank you very much.